everybody, welcome back to the show. Now, the last time we saw our next guest, he was teaching us how to sit ski. Yeah, and he was preparing for uh, the 2010 Paralympic Games. Josh Duick, what a year he had last year. 2010 Paralympic silver medalist and now Guinness record holder for high fives. All right, Josh. Good, thanks. Nice how you guys doing? You, so let's start with the Olympics because you were nice enough to, well, be patient with me sit skiing. <laughs> Mike actually ended up being really good at it. But then you had your silver medal run. What was it like for you, the whole Olympic experience? Um, it's pretty tough to like break it down into one moment or anything like that. But I think the takeaway that I had is that, that sense of connection, that feeling I had of having all my friends and family together in one place yeah. and cheering towards one thing. And I feel pretty fortunate that I was able to put down my run at the right time and had a career high. Well, and I sure. asked you when we saw this picture, I said, did you know where you were? And, and your answer was a great one, which was just that you put down a great run and you were pretty happy. <laughs> That's it. You know, I had two runs to go and both runs went very well. I skied to my potential and that's all I could really ask for myself. Yeah. And just I think by looking into the crowd and feeling their energy, I knew that I'd done quite well. And when I w uh, looked up to the clock, it was uh, a dream come true <laughs> for sure. That's a moment. I mean, uh, it, I, I can't imagine having that and, and the time that it takes to kind of process it and to, to have it settle. And then you've got to jump sort of right back into training for, for the next season as well. I mean, you don't really get a ton of time to go, wow, like I just won an Olympic medal. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of uh, hype after the games, right? Everybody wants a piece of it, and I am very aware that it's not going to last forever, so I tried to get on board and, and take advantage of many of those opportunities while well, the time was there, but, uh, and then right back into training, so it's, it's nonstop. Well, there's got to be an emotionally exhaustive element to it, you know, when, you know, you come off this huge high, and then, and then like you say, everybody, you know, interviews and opportunities and appearances and all this kind of stuff, so uh, how do you feel going into the season? Because you guys are starting in another month or so. <laughs> Josh, I want you to be honest with me. <laughs> um, well, it's mixed bag, right? I'm yeah. skiing really well, and I think that's pretty common for a lot of athletes. You take away the pressure from the games, and technically things start to flow a little more effortlessly. And the last two camps that we've had, I've put down some better skiing, some, some of the best skiing I've ever done in my life. Now, I wish I could have done that a year ago, but, <laughs> right. or a few months ago, but no, my skiing's going really well, but the mixed bag comes from, I think, the great imbalance that comes from being so focused towards one goal for so long. Right. right. And, and you goals. lose connection with a lot of things that made you great at what you do in yeah. terms of home life, family, and friends, and uh, that's tough. And uh, you decided to do something in your off time that I didn't even know existed. You are the Guinness record holder for <laughs> high fives, which is awesome on so many different levels. Were you aware, how were you aware that this existed? <laughs> uh, the idea came up to me again. It was one of those things with the hype after the games. WorkSafe BC came to me and said, hey, we've got this concept. And I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, high five, whatever. Like, no. <laughs> like, I didn't think it would be what they'd want to invest their time and energy into. Yeah. But it started to build, and since I was available for that time frame, they continued to gather momentum And we on met and you uh, yeah. a couple years back at a WorkSafe BC uh, event. Maybe you can explain what WorkSafe is, what Raise a Hand is, and the whole concept behind it. Yeah, for sure. So I'll start with RaiseYourHand.com or the Raise Your Hand campaign, which is a part of WorkSafe BC. And that's all about creating awareness and empowering and educating young workers to make better choices in the workplace. Now, the reason WorkSafe is doing this is they're becoming a lot more proactive in preventing accidents and injuries, period. Now, I think it was a couple years back they changed themselves from the Workers' Compensation Board to WorkSafe BC, and a part of that was a proactive move to... Um, not just compensate those that have been hurt, but prevent that prevent in the first it. place. And this is them living that initiative and yeah. pretty proud to be a part of it. Well, and, and for young workers especially, the statistics are incredible. Like workers that are under 25 years old and, and workplace accident rates versus workers that are over 25. So you have to reach a younger audience, I guess, with this message as well and say, you know, you guys can say, no mass, like I'm not doing this. Yeah, 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 and when you're young, anything goes, right? No matter what, whether it's in the workplace or life in general, you just tend to cowboy up and, and get her done, Yeah, if you will, and often that can lead to a lot of hazards and preventable accidents in the workplace. Yeah. Well, okay, and raise a hand, obviously, is a high five. Yeah. Uh, what was the previous record? 3,000-ish? Um, I've seen to remember it was 3,000 and something. 
Yeah, it was low 3000s for sure. And <laughs> you were looking at some footage of your high five, uh, starting at high five number one. How long did you have to do this? How many high fives do you hold as the record? Maybe you can walk us through it. The cheerleader high five. <laughs> Not bad. That a boy. <laughs> yeah, this was, uh, this was good times for sure. The, the official record's 9,307. And so we pretty much tripled the old record. And did you have to do it within 24 hours? Was that the rule? 24 hours is the rule. And had to be the same hand above my head. So honestly, I think we probably counted 12 or 13,000. But some of them were repeats, which get disqualified. Some of them were lower, because whether they're just a young kid <laughs> that couldn't quite reach Who's or. Who's keeping track of this? Um, scientists. Scientists. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mathematicians, scientists. And I think one of the, the talliers was the lead statistician. I said it. That a boy. You I got, couldn't say in the dry room. Statistician uh, from the Vancouver Canucks. So this is a pretty big deal. That's like serious. they wanted to make sure that it was accurate and Guinness would accept. So the uh, just for anyone who thinks this might be easy, leave your hand above your arm, above your shoulder for a good, like let's say five minutes to get a feel. Is for there it. anybody who doesn't high five you as a form of greeting now, <laughs> no. or was that just me? <laughs> no, no, it's it's pretty common. I was actually rolling through Vernon the other day, and I just going for my morning coffee, and this I'm just like, hey man, how are you? Good morning, and he's like, hey, good morning. Holy, you're the high five guy, <laughs> and he pretty much spilled his coffee on himself in the realization. So no longer silver medalist, you're now high five guy. I prefer the high five guy to be honest with I you. I love you know, that. How did your shoulder feel? in all honesty after 24 hours of like high-fiving people I was delirious just the exhaustion alone from being <laughs> up and putting that much effort towards one thing but um, you know day-to-day -day stuff it doesn't bother me at all but when I start doing some yoga or some stretching or I'm in physiotherapy with Still the team tight. oh it's crazy it's probably two or three times tighter than my Do you left have a high arm five injury I have, no, it's, I wouldn't say it's an injury. Come on now. It's You're going to get me into trouble. Yeah, but no, you know, repetitive stress, you know, it's, a, you know, it's not uncommon. You know, it's a great cause, though. Yeah. And, uh, of course, if you want to find out more about the campaign we've been speaking Raise of, you can go to raiseyourhand.com. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Josh, Josh, always a pleasure, man, to hang out a little bit and you're catch up. Welcome. And best of luck going into the season. I know you're going to do really well. So And you too, Ron Burgundy. <laughs> Thank you, Ron Burgundy. Thank you. Know, you're, you're, All you need to do is shake from here down and you can and you're beat styling. him. You can be. I will, I will. It'll happen in a couple of weeks. I've I've gone for the full Movember a few years in the past, but out of respect to my wife, I'm going to wait till I hit the road for a little bit longer. <laughs> gentleman. And uh, the end of Movember, I'll definitely Your represent. wife has sacrificed enough in the last little while. She I could, think so. She didn't need just a mustache for a while. <laughs> Thanks, man. We're going to take a break.